On February 15, 1965, Eight-year-old Peggy Ford led her classmates down the halls of Northview Elementary in Point Claire, Quebec. That noon, Canada's long-awaited new national flag would be raised for the first time on Parliament Hill. Every classroom in the country was to receive one, and Peggy was chosen to carry the banner for her class. We marched back to class that day, she recalls, flags carried high, hearts bursting with pride. Settling on the flag that would uniquely represent Canada was not an easy task. Of the thousands of flags proposed, a simple red and white maple leaf design was finally selected. On the day of its inauguration, Prime Minister Lester Pearson said, under this flag, may our youth find new inspiration for loyalty to Canada for a patriotism based not on any mean or narrow nationalism, but on the deep and equal pride that all Canadians will feel for every part of this good land. Today, that hope has been realized. The distinctive maple leaf flag has been skated around hockey rinks, billowing behind triumphant teams. It has been saluted at Olympic ceremonies, painted on faces and road signs, and sewn on hats and jerseys and military uniforms. It has been recognized and welcomed worldwide, wherever democracy and peace have been defended. To celebrate the nation's sesquicentennial, a forest of 150 maples is being planted in the iconic maple leaf shape. Today, the maple leaf flag has become a symbol of everything this beautiful land and its people stand for. Honoring commitments, respecting diversity, welcoming and sheltering those in need, and promoting harmony and peace worldwide. As Canada celebrates 150 years as a nation, Canadians rightfully take pride in every part of this good land.